Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a bill condensing and sinking funds update for January 2022. If you want to see how I do it and see if what we have saved throughout the month and what we can condense, please stay tuned. So now, let's get started by moving the cash around and then grabbing my little tray. This is not going to be getting condensed at all because we're just going to just put it away. So we are going to condense my sinking funds. Let me grab my sinking fund little tracker here. If you guys can see it, if you guys are in frame. So let's count how much we're going to be at least using for the condensing. Hopefully we still have the same amount. I have used this little, let me zoom you guys in here, this little breakdown sheet just with the sticky note because I didn't have anything while I was going to the bank out of the blue. I didn't realize I was going to do this when I went to the bank. So I luckily had some sticky notes in my car and I just made my own fans, quick one real fast. It works, it works. I like it, it works. <clears throat> so let's count. How much money we have here we should have 520 let's just make sure we have 100 200 300 and 100 bills 20 40 60 81 20 40 and 20s right there and we have 10 20 and 10s i'm gonna zoom you guys a little bit in okay i'm just gonna scoop this guy right here Okay, and then we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and fives. So hopefully that will be needed. If not, we don't need it. But, whoops, I'm going to leave it there. But look at this, look at this $100 bill. It looks like it got, it got like cut when they were doing something with it. Or when they made it, I don't know, but it looks really cool. Okay, <clears throat> so let me get my pen. Just let me make sure I stay hydrated. I'm gonna be talking for a little bit here. So, how is everyone doing? Is everyone ready for February? I think so. I am. And <clears throat> before we actually get started with this, I want to just take a moment, a pause to say thank you for supporting my channel, commenting throughout my videos, liking my videos, subscribing if you're new, if you're returning, thank you for coming back and supporting as always. I just appreciate everyone just coming in and Supporting my videos is just really awesome. I enjoy it. I like responding with your comments, being interactive in the, the comment section or comment section, and just having some fun down there. So in today's video, how I just want to know how did you like this video? Just give me a comment and just say you liked it. If there's any suggestions you want me to do differently, let me know. I just want to be able to comment and be active in that comment section, okay? So, let's get started. Our starting amount for self-care. Okay, I decided to get another envelope. I have decided that I'm going to split up self-care and hair maintenance back into two separate, two separate envelopes. I had it as one, but... I'm not liking that so we are gonna do it as two and so for the month we started out with $60 for hair maintenance we added $10 we took out 20 for my haircut And our ending amount should be, 
I believe, fifty dollars. Let's just count. Twenty-five, thirty-five, forty-five, fifty. Okay. So we have $50 remaining. So let's see what we can actually take out. So we have a 10, 20. So 5, 10, 15, 20. So I have fives here. Take out 20. And I have two fives left. And for a 10. So that's good. Oops. Ah, my binder wants to move this morning. Okay. So also, I'm planning on, oops, excuse me, let me adjust this. I'm planning on trying out a few different videos throughout the month of February. I'm trying to do like a budget with me more breakdown with my paychecks, possibly a monthly pay monthly budget. Let's just kind of explain how I do that. And then do weekly check-ins. Of course, do my sinking funds update and bill exchange at towards the end of the month. So we'll see how that works out. I want to try and do different content, but try not to overwhelm myself either. Medical, we started out with 135. So health and medical are the exact same thing. My envelope says medical. On my sinking funds update, it says health and medical. I like both. We added $20 total in this. We took out 45 for a copay. And then we should have 110 remaining based on my tracker let's make sure the money counts 20 40 60 80 90 110 okay so we're gonna take out the two tens here and grab a 20. i personally prefer doing 20s over hundreds and 50s because it's easier for me to actually count I am, I'm okay count using 50s, but when I want to break down certain envelopes, sometimes I don't have the, I don't have the, the money to just swap out. So I prefer to have it where I have fit the hundreds and 50s for something a di for a different particular envelope, which you'll find out in just a second. In car maintenance, we have we had thirty-five dollars to begin with at the end at the beginning of the month. We added twenty dollars. We taken out zero, and we should have twenty, thirty, forty, fifty-five. So fifty-five dollars. For this one, I had had my actual car alignment done this month, but take out these two tens. I actually pulled the money out for that particular transaction throughout a different fund, which is my emergency fund, my buff my debit card emergency fund which I already have in my bank we will I'll I will take out them I will repay back my debit card once we get to that certain amount so we have 20 40 55 also I just realized I need to start beefing up my car maintenance fund as well some way somehow because I have a oil change and struts to get done as well my car just not likes, does not love me right now. It's okay. Next, we have car insurance. Car insurance is the fund that we're going to actually exchange a lot of money for. Car insurance, we had 267 
at the beginning of the month, we added 65. We taken out nothing and we should have 302. No, not 302. 332. Okay. Also, I decided that at the end, at, in March, I have my actual car insurance payment. These two dollar bills are going to be taken out from that transaction. I'm not. I don't personally. I'm. I'm fine having dollar bills with my sinking funds, but since my amount usually is a different, it's more like five dollar as a transaction. Sometimes three, sometimes two. We'll leave it in here just in case I need it as an emergency, based on my actual bill when it comes in March. So let's see what we can swap out right now. So we have 1, 2, or 20, 40, 60, 81. So that's 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. Um, let's go do these. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So 90, so 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 1. So we'll leave this 32 here. Okay. So this should be 100, right? Now let's just double check. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And this is 200 right here. And then this, these hundreds right here will go into my car insurance fund. And this is actually the only fund that I will actually add like hundreds and fifties because these go straight right back to the bank. I don't really usually have to break the 50s and the 100 bills. So we should have 332, so let's double check. So we have 100, 200, 300, 30, I'm sorry, 300, 20, 31, two. So that one's actually better when it comes to its envelope. And if, you, if you're asking where I got my envelopes, I did not make these. I have, I'm supporting a, I have supported a few shops. So a lot of my envelopes that you see here are from different shops and those shops are going to be in my description box down below with their channel name and also their actual shop so go support them. They're really wonderful. These are from Amanda Budgets here on YouTube and also on Etsy. I love the ocean theme when with these actual envelopes so it, it makes me feel it makes me feel like I'm in the ocean every time I open up my envelopes. So they're really nice. Plus, if you have, I haven't really talked about like what my interests are. So I'm very interested like in nature, outdoors, the ocean, the planet. I love our actual, I'm very sciencey. So I like the actual natural environment. I like seeing it, being in it, being present in it. So I love these ocean theme envelopes. So before I keep dragging on, let's keep going with clothing. Clothing this month, I took out, I depleted both my Pokemon sinking fund and my clothing just to start fresh within the brand new year. And we added $20. I took a taken out zero and we should have twenty dollars and the same thing with Pokemon it's the exact same so we'll just do both right now and with clothing I'm just gonna exchange these two tens for a 20 so we have a nice 20 bill so when I originally ordered my envelopes I only stopped at clothing but I ended up actually ordering some more and I might have to do some more again because it 
I found another print that I love from Amanda Budgets, and I'm gonna have to do my envelopes again in addition to these ones. So, stay tuned for that in the near future. They have been shipped, uh, ish, I think. I have to double check. Hopefully, they've been shipped. I have to double check my actual account. But, I just found them. I ordered them like maybe two, three weeks ago. And they're, I'm, I'm just patiently waiting for them. So these two tens, I'm gonna swap out for a twenty. We just did, a, we just did Pokemon, since it's very similar. And I just realized I need to move my cash because I actually have ones coming up in just a moment. Okay, next is Nintendo Switch. We're gonna take that one. And I love, I still need to get into some of the games I just got. Like I got, I like Pokemon. I love, I have, the, I have to finish playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. If you're a Pokemon fan, that's okay if you're not. So I like video games. I like playing them and I need to start doing those two games and I just got the brand new game that just came out called Legends of Arceus which is another game in the same generation as the Brilliant Diamond and Sign Pearl but it's a side game it's not part of the same main story or main gener main play main series game it's more of a, a branch off it's like a spin off game what we would call it. So I have in Pokemon in subscription, not but in subscriptions. Actually, was the next one on here, but I actually are not doing that one at the moment. So we will take it out just for this month. I, it's coming back. I just haven't done it this month, this year yet. Okay. So in Nintendo Switch, we should have. $55. We added five. We took out nothing. And then we should have $60. So with the Nintendo Switch, I it's kind of more of the an annual payment as well as any game or any accessory I want for my Nintendo Switch. I kind of didn't really go into detail about this one. But the Pokemon one as a side backtrack a little bit with my Pokemon uh, sinking fund it's the Pokemon ones like for Pokemon cards Pokemon games Pokemon accessories card sleeves anything that is related to the Pokemon franchise and the Nintendo switch fund is my online gaming that I buy for a year the any accessories I need for my Nintendo Switch, my, like cases, screen protectors, anything that is related to the Nintendo Switch comes from, from this fund. So we should have $60, so we should have 20, 40, 5, 50, 5, 60. So we'll take these five twenties, these 520s, <laughs> these four fives, and I still like the fact that we have this older $5 bill in here. So I might have to swap it out with one a $5 bill for my $5 savings challenge. We'll take out another 20 and then we have two 320 so it's $60. My Nintendo Switch on, um, online subscription actually gets taken out in May I believe. So we should be fine with that. We're on track. Next is at on here is actually kind of out of order because it's actually planners next, but it shows Christmas on here, so we'll go to Christmas first. So Christmas for the year we add we started out with zero. Same with birthdays. Travel right now is going to be taken out for just a moment it's actually going to be supplied or not supplied it's going to 
have the money come from one of my savings challenges this year. So that is, so the funds are going to be from that challenge. So for Christmas and birthdays, we started out with zero. We added six. Take it, took out zero. And so we should have six dollars in each. And these are already to the smallest denomination I want to have anyway. So we have five and then we have a dollar, so six dollars. I'm not gonna do the same thing for birthdays because it's the exact same amount. I literally just stuffed them in my last video. If you haven't seen my last video, my paycheck number two of January, go watch that. Let's get some support for that one. But planners is next. Planners, right now I'm going to do, I, I have to double check my actual account, make sure everything went through. So for planners, we started out with $56. I added 14 for the month. Took out zero for this month, we, but we'll be updated for next month. So we should have seventy dollars. Okay. So twenty. Let's start with the ones first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we have fifteen, twenty. So we'll exchange that for twenty. And then we did, we're gonna leave a 10 and then take out these two 10s for another 20. And so now we should have, oops. We should have 20, 40, 60, 70. So that one's been taken care of. So that one's done. Next on here is my bedroom furniture that is not being recorded for this month. Um, new desk was a brand new fund I was gonna imp uh, incorporate for the year, but I already supplied it. What happened was I got some gift cards for Christmas and since I got one from Ikea, which I want my desk from anyway. And I got some other gift cards for what I was gonna use for my desk. So once I got my gift cards for Christmas, it's already been funded. Self-care is going to not get recorded for this month as well, but it will be starting next month. My Costco Sam's Club, which I actually have changed the membership I'm, I changed my membership actual sinking fund to annual payments. And I just paid my Costco one, and I need to I need to make sure I have enough money for my Sam's Club for in March, and then from there I'm going to be stuffing that one as well. Okay. So now let's grab my calculator. And let's move this out of the way. We don't need this anymore and then we'll count the money in just a second so let's just close out this part right now so the starting amount for the month we should have 60 plus 135 plus 35 267 55 and 56 so for the month of January we started out with six hundred and eight dollars we added 10, 20, 20, 65, 20, 20, 5, 6, 6, 14. So 186. I am, if you haven't seen Tina from the Pink Cloth Life, sh she goes like very fast when it comes to the, to the calculator. And it's so cool how she does it. I can't believe how fast she goes. It amazes me. So 10, 20, 20, 65, 20, 20, 5, 6, 6, and 14. So 186. Want to double check to make sure I had it correct. So 
We took out $65 this month. And then let's see what we ended up with. So 50, 110, 55, 332, 20, 20, 60, 6, 6, and 70. So it looks like we are we have $915 in my sinking funds. So let's double check. Now I didn't get it right. Okay, 50, 110, 55, 332, 20, 20, 60, minus one, hold on, plus 12, seven, okay, hold on. That's way too much. This is, that amount, 915 is way too much. So 50, 110, 55, 32, 20, 20, 60, 6, 6, 70. So 729. One way to find out is do 608 plus 186 minus 65 and it's 729. That should be the amount, which 915 was way too much. So that one's done, so let's get this out of the way. I'll put that over here. Let me get some of my drink real fast. Okay. So in the in the beginning of the video, we should have we took out five hundred and twenty dollars. Let's make sure we have five hundred twenty dollars. So with twenties. We have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 10s, we should have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, so 160 in, in tens. Fives, we should have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So 135. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and ones. I am $10 short. Hold on, let's recount this. 5, 10, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So we have 150. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Okay, I think we found it. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. So I miscounted either in the tens or in the fives. So, good thing we figured it out. Get rid of that. And if you, if you enjoyed this video today, I appreciate you just being able to st stay with me throughout this whole video. And just in that comment section, let me know if you like this, what I can change, what you can see, what you want to see any future videos on in the future. My thinking would be budget with me videos, more weekly, maybe doing weekly check-ins as well. Even though I get paid bi-weekly, 
my everyday cash spending, so it's this binder right here, I made the budget where it, I can do it weekly, actually. I can do weekly spending instead. So if you wanna see those kind of videos, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll try doing those for the month of February. Don't forget to like and subscribe the, to this video if you're new. Always like if you're if you liked it. Comment if you want to. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully soon. We will be doing another video for my first paycheck in February. I don't know if that's going to be exactly the next video. Because I need to do a catch up video for my sinking, not my sinking funds, savings challenge video. Otherwise, have a good one. See you guys next time. Bye.